Welcome to St. John's Anglican Church in downtown Ottawa. My name is Gary Vandermeer and I'm the new parish priest at St. John's. Welcome if you're new and you're wondering what happens inside this lovely building. And welcome if you're part of our beloved St. John's family. Today I'm going to burn the palms for Ash Wednesday. And uh, before I light them, I just want to reflect on Palm Sunday, which is where these palms came from. Uh, this, the original story is about how the crowd welcomed Jesus into Jerusalem, and their welcome included placing garments and palms on the road as a sign of welcome and respect. But the same people turned on Jesus, uh, and that's where we come to the Good Friday story. And as we prepare these palms for Ash Wednesday, uh, we will remind ourselves that we're like those people that did that welcome and then turned. Uh, we intend good, uh, and we don't always live up to the good we intend. And so Lent is our season to recognize our frailty and our failings, and in the limited time we have living our lifespan on the planet, uh, we recognize that we have this opportunity in Lent to go deeper into God and to return to ourselves and to return to the Lord. May these ashes be for us a sign of the frailty of our humanity and God's love for us as human beings. Amen. I want to invite you to the Ash Wednesday service on Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. The service will be on Zoom, and I would like to invite you also to come and pick up your ashes from these ashes that I've just burned. Uh, on Monday morning, 9 to 11, or Tuesday, 5 to 7 p.m. We will include the ashes in our worship service for Ash Wednesday, and you are welcome to administer the ashes to yourself or to your family members who attend the service with you online, and uh, to take this journey in Lent with us. Hi, I'm Gordon Johnston. I'm the Director of Music here at St. John the Evangelist Anglican Church in Ottawa, Canada. Today, I would like to introduce you to the organ music of Pietro Jan. Uh, Pietro Jan was born in 1886 in Italy, and at the age of 21, he came to New York City uh, and was appointed organist of St. Francis Xavier Church. And then, in 1928, he became the organist of St. Patrick's Cathedral. He was well known as a composer and a concert artist. Um, one of his most famous pieces for organ is actually a short little fun piece which he entitled Humoresque and he subtitled it Toccatina for organ. So it's a toccata but not a big one, just a little one, a toccatina. It's loads of fun to play and I hope you'll enjoy it. Here is the Humoresque L'Organo Primitivo of Pietro Jan. <laughs> 